everyone, it's me again, Mama Riel, and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ayan, sobrang namiss ko kayo. Hindi ko alam kung namiss niyo ako, pero miss na miss ko kayo. And ito na nga ako nagbabalik for another math tutorial video. And ito nga ngayon is for grade 8 ang gagawin natin. And ito na, magiging active na ulit tayo uh, ngayon sa ating YouTube and sa ating TikTok and of course sa ating Facebook page. Kaya huwag niyo akong kalimutang i-follow to all of my social media accounts para naman palagi kayong updated whenever na may bago akong uploads, math tutorials sa aking mga social media platforms. Okay? So yun na nga, um, sobrang naging busy ko lang this past few days. Um, actually, one week uh, kung hindi nakapag-upload. Pero ito na nga, nagbabalik na ulit tayo and sana ay masuportahan nyo pa din ako. Okay, so without further ado, without any daldal, tara na, simulan na natin ang pag-aaral. nga, syempre, ang i-discuss natin for today's video is all about the rational algebraic expression. What are we going to do is, of course, to define a rational algebraic expression. Naalamin natin ano ba kapag sinabing rational? Ano ba kapag sinabing expression? Okay, so, kailangan malaman natin to enable for us to easily understand yung mga susunod pang lesson all about this one. Okay, so mga susunod pang les lesson dito is yung simplifying a rational algebraic expression and of course the operations on rational algebraic expression. Pero for now, we're gonna focus on um, definition of rational algebraic expression or illustrations, okay? So bago natin to simulan, syempre, bilang isa ka ng grade 8 students, kasi ito ay para sa mga grade 8 natin dyan, sa mga mahal kong grade 8, ayan, of course, kailangan meron na kayong um, extra knowledge or knowledgeable enough na kayo um, in dealing with fractions, in dealing with um, getting the greatest common factor of a fractions, simplifying fractions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. Anyway, madami akong tutorials all about fractions and kumpleto yan. Ilalagay ko na lang yung link dito sa taas. Puntahan nyo yan and para mas marami kayong alam all about fractions and masimulan na natin tong um, rational algebraic expression. Okay, so eto na nga, when we say a rational algebraic expression, it is any expression that can be written in the form P over Q where P and Q are polynomials and Q is not equal to to zero. So, itong Q is the denominator. Kasi magkakaroon tayo ng undefined. For example, we have uh, 7Y divided by uh, 0. 7Y over 0 that is undefined or walang magiging sagot. No? Kaya hindi pwedeng maging zero ang ating um, denominator. Okay? For example, 2 divided by 0 or 2 over 0. That is also undefined. So, kaya naman, kapag sinabi natin um, rational, hindi siya pwedeng maging 0 ang denominator. Okay? From the root word itself, ratio. Ratio means division or fraction. Okay? Kaya, ito yung ating pag-uusapan. Okay? So, sabi dito, um, P and Q, meaning to say that the numerator and the denominator are polynomials. So, dapat alam nyo na din kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng polynomials. So, kung nakakapanood kayo ng mga tutorials ko all about polynomials, so malalaman nyo din yan. Okay, so ganun lang naman siya kasimple. Okay, mayroon ako dito mga inilistang mga examples and we are going to identify if it is a rational algebraic expression or not. Para naman alam nyo, halimbawa, mayroon kayong mga quizzes, exams, um, kailangan, di ba, alamin nyo muna kung ang isang item is an uh, algebraic expression or rational algebraic expression or not. Enable for you to perform it well. Right? So, ngayon nga is we have our example number one. 
our example number 1 is 3y plus 5 over y plus 1. 3y plus 5 is a polynomial. Okay? y plus 1 is of course a polynomial. Therefore, 3y plus 5 over y plus 1 is a, a rational algebraic expression. Okay? So, yan yan. And then we also have example number 2. 3a over x minus y. So, 3a is a polynomial. A monomial. Yan. So, ano ba kapag sinabi natin polynomial? Ito yung mga monomial, binomial, trinomial, uh, or multinomial. Basta polynomial, yung when we say monomial, isa lamang siya na term. Binomial, dalawang terms. Trinomial is three terms. Polynomials kapag more terms na. Okay, so for example, this one, this is a binomial, this is a binomial. They were also a polynomials. Okay, so directly ko lang para syempre mas alam nyo na siya. Okay, so 3a over x minus y, this is a monomial. So therefore, this is a polynomial, a polynomial as well. So therefore, this is a rational algebraic expression. Diba? So from the definition itself, an expression that can be written in the form p over q. Kapag sinabi natin expression, okay, ito yung mga naglalaman ng variables, ganyan. Meron siyang literal coefficient, exponents, mga terms, so that is an expression. Okay? Then next, we have 5ax raised to negative 2. So, sa tingin nyo, is it a rational algebraic expression or not? So, enable for us to know if this is um, RAE, we are going to simplify. Since napansin nyo na may negative itong ating x and a polynomial, uh, when we say polynomial, dapat walang negative na exponent. Okay? So, therefore, ito, masisimplify natin ito kasi hiwalay naman siya dito kay 5a, itong x uh, raised to negative 2. Kasi kapag dikit-dikit, that is multiplication. Pwede natin itong gawin. Uh, itong 5a, matitira lang siya as numerator. And then, si x raised to negative 2, para maalis yung negative exponent, ibababa natin siya. Ilalagay natin siya sa denominator. So, that is x raised to 2. 5a is an algebraic expression. x squared is also an algebraic expression. And they are both polynomials. Therefore, this is a rational algebraic expression. Ganun lang siya kasimple, mga bunsa. Okay? Next, we have number 4, 2c plus d over 3c squared plus 5c minus d. So, okay naman siya. Wala namang properties na nawawala or makakapagsabi na hindi siya rational algebraic expression kasi ito is a polynomial. This one also a polynomial. Therefore, this is a rational algebraic expression. Okay? So, number 5, 1 over x minus square root of y. What do you think? Is it a rational algebraic expression or not? Yes, of course, it is not a rational algebraic expression. Why? Kasi as you can see, meron tayong square root. And square root is kabilang siya sa mga irrational numbers. So, when we say irrational numbers, ito yung mga um, numbers that cannot be expressed in fractional form. Okay? Or hindi natin mailalagay basta-basta in fractions. Okay? So, square root, kapag may nakita kayo na merong square root, that is not a rational algebraic expression. Okay? Then, number 6, we have 3x plus 5 over 2x raised to 3 over 2. Okay? So, this one is also not a rational algebraic expression. Why? Kasi nga, uh, we have, ito, itong 3x plus 5 is a polynomial. Okay? But this one, 2x raised to 3 over 2, kapag merong fraction, ang exponent, hindi siya pwedeng maging polynomial. Okay? Pero, kapag ka, ang fraction ay hindi exponent, or uh, for example, ito ay 1 over 3, yun, pwede siya, no? Basta ito ay hindi exponent. Okay, so for our last example, we have 2x over x plus 1 times y minus 2 over 3y. Ito is also a rational algebraic expression. Why? Kasi when we simplify this one, ayan, i-multiply lang natin itong 2x 
sa y. So, magiging 2xy yan. And then, 2x times negative 2, that is negative 4x over x times 3y, that is 3xy. And then, 1 times 3y, that is plus 3y. That is a uh, rational algebraic expression kasi 2xy minus 4x is a polynomial as well as 3xy plus 3y. That is also a polynomial. Okay? So, those are the conditions uh, para masabi natin na isang expressions are rational algebraic expression. Okay? Ganun lang siya kasimple mga bunsa. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And please, huwag nyo kalimutan mag-subscribe and like tong video. I-hit nyo na din yung ating notification bell down below para naman palagi kayong updated sa mga bago kong ina-upload dito sa YouTube. Okay, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa akin all about rational algebraic expression. And sa ating mga susunod pang videos is i-discuss naman natin ang mga operations or how to simplify rational algebraic expression expressions. Thank you so much everyone and always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. Again, this is Pima Marielle and see you on my next video. God bless everyone.